installing the Cisco Unified Communications Manager 7.0 publisher. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and log into our VMware ESX machine. Now I've gone ahead and cleared out all the virtual machines on here, so I'm just going to go fast forward right into the setup wizard. Now for most installations, we're going to go ahead and use typical, but for some we'll need custom. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and name our virtual machine. I'm going to call it Cisco Unified Communications Manager version 7.0 Publisher. Now I typically like to put in the IP address of the virtual machine I'm using, so in this case it will be 10.1.100.10. Now for the data store, I'm just going to go ahead and use the only data store I got. So click Next. Now because it is a Linux virtual appliance, we're going to go ahead and select Red Hat Enterprise Linux 3. Um, for Windows based ones, you'll need to use the appropriate Windows installation. Alright, so go ahead and click Next. Now, I do have a quad core machine here, but I'm going to go ahead and only use one. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and use two gigabytes here, but you can get away with using one. Uh, generally, you will require at least one gigabyte, but I found that it installs faster with two. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and click Next. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and set our disk size. We're going to use 72, and the reason being is that usually the install will fail with anything less. Alright, so go ahead and verify the settings, and we're going to edit before we submit to be created. Go ahead and select your CD DVD drive. We're going to hit it to be powered, connected at Powered On. I'm using an ISO to install. If you have a CD and a CD drive, go ahead and feel free to use that. Alright, so we're going to have it created. I'm going to go off screen here in a second once it's finished being created, and we're going to go ahead and hit run on it. And so there we go. And we'll launch the console. On Alright, so we got the virtual machine up and running. Uh, I have the video fast forwarding about three times speed right here, uh, just because it takes a while. I'm going to go ahead and skip the media check because it will fail on my disk, but it will install just fine. Note that if it does fail to pass the inspection, the server will reboot. Alright, so because it is a VMware machine, we get the little message that says it's not supported by attack, don't call us. Etc. Etc. All right, so right here is where you can choose what product you're going to install. We are installing the Unified Communications Manager, so we're just going to go ahead and select that and then go to OK. All right, so right here it's going to tell us what version we have installed already. Because this is a fresh install, it says none, and we are installing 7.0.1. So go ahead and click Yes. Alright, so we're not going to go ahead and apply a patch. If we were, we'd hit yes, but since we're not, we're going to go ahead and hit no. Also, we are not using any data from Windows, so go ahead and hit no again. Continue. Now we're going to go ahead and set up the time zone, Los Angeles. I'm not going to change the NIC or the MTU, and I'm not using DHCP. Instead, we're going to set it statically. So go ahead and put that in now. Now just to note, I have had problems in the past where we've used DHCP and the call manager process itself would not start up, so just keep that in mind. Setting it manually always works. We're not using DNS, so no here. The administrator password, I just go with administrator and put in your super secret password right here. I tend to use this uh, administrator account for all of the accounts, as you'll see later. Organization, just going to put my website. Now, unit, I usually do data networks and telecommunications. And we're going to skip past these. All right, well, it's not going to last. So we're going to go ahead and put Portland for the location and state. We'll just do Oregon. Now, because this is the publisher, it is the first known in the cluster. If you were doing a subscriber, You'd hit no here, and then you'd be prompted for some additional screens. 
All right, uh, I am not using NTP. If you are, go ahead and set that up appropriately. Uh, the date and the time on my server is a bit wrong. It is 2009. Today's the 9th. No, today's the 10th. I'll just go ahead and change that. Uh, it's approximately 9.23. Go ahead and move up. And move on. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set the security password. One thing you want to keep in mind with the security password is that it must be the same on the subscribers as it is on the publisher. Otherwise, database sync will not work. Now, I'm not using SMTP, so I'm skip. And we're going to do administrator here, same secret password. And that's going to be pretty much it for the configuration. All right, go ahead and grab yourself some coffee. This is going to take a while. All right, so everything's installed. The server's just rebooted for its second and final time. And we're waiting for all the services to come up. Right now, the video at about three times speed. And just to speed this up a little bit, as it's going to take a while for all these services to come up. It takes about as long to shut it down, too. All right, so we'll go ahead and log in with our administrator account that we specified earlier. All right, so we're logged in. Go ahead and run the show version active command. We'll see 7.0.1. We're good to go. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and verify the web interface. We'll just log into that real quick. Type in administrator and our password. All right, so we're going to oops, all right. We're going to go ahead and check the licensing right here. Go to license unit report. And you're going to see we have 150 unit licenses and three server licenses, which currently shows that zero are used. Now that's because the call manager process isn't active on this publisher just yet. Once we activate that, that'll show up as one use license. Additionally, we'll be able to add two subscribers because this is a VMware specific lab type license Cisco's granted us. See more at cisco.tannerezel.com.